Our grand finale concert of the Spring Festival will be held Sunday afternoon at 3 o'clock. It's a matinee show. We'll be indulging in the deep romanticism of the 19th century, uh, highlighting uh, music by Wagner, Schumann, and Brahms. Uh, starting with uh, Robert Schumann, we'll be offering his uh, third symphony called the Rhenish Symphony, uh, inspired by the Rhine. It really exudes this kind of quality of this Germanic dreaminess and, the, and you can almost like sense the Rhine River and all that that means uh, in terms of uh, legends uh, for, for those cultures. And the opening movement is very, very strong in which he tries to characterize the flow of the Rhine River and I think he captured it. It's, it's a really great historically significant work that we're very, very uh, excited about performing. Robert Schumann was one of the most influential composers of the early to mid 19th century. Schumann is a very interesting composer in that he, he did have some uh, mental health issues. This is apparent in his music. His music changes drastically from, from different uh, emotional states. The Rhenish Symphony, the Rhine Symphony, is a great example of that. I'm very excited to uh, perform the uh, Brahms Schicksalslied, or Song of Destiny, which is one of Brahms' great works for orchestra and chorus. Sunday's concert will feature both the orchestra and the chorale. Brahms was very, very interested in uh, choruses, so he had a strong affinity for writing choral music. And the Schicksalslied, or Song of Destiny, is one of his great miniature. The text is, is, is from a poem of the same uh, name by uh, Friedrich Hölderlin, who is a very, very famous German uh, literary figure. He's revered as a, as a very, very important figure, a poet and a writer in early Germanic Romanticism. It's a beautiful miniature masterwork by Brahms. We will be performing the uh, famous Prelude and Liebestod, or Love Death, from Wagner's great opera, Tristan and Isolde. Now this opera was groundbreaking at the time. It was premiered, it was considered extremely modern, and it had the impact of that piece is still being felt today. His treatment of the orchestra was very, very symphonic in scope, meaning that the instrumental accompaniment supporting his operas was very, very developed. Uh, he considered himself in the lineage of the great composers such as Beethoven, Sunday's concert is instrumental selections from the opera Tristan and Isolde. So it's the beginning prelude which is extremely evocative and it's the quintessential romantic yearning music. very, very violent and strong, and it shows the tragic nature of the opera. It'll be a fabulous program.